I have to work. I have to pick up my car. Oh, what's wrong with your car this time, Harriet? Oh, they're fiddling around with that uh, funny little gizmo. Harriet, you really should learn more about cars. So you know what you're paying for. The reason they give you a work order is so you know exactly what they're doing to your car. Now, did you get a work order? Fiddle around with funny little gizmo. <laughs> Let me know if they do good work. My gizmo's on the blink, too. I'll let you know. Parrot, did you get my doctor's appointment? Oh, yeah, you're set for 2 o'clock, Leonard. What's the matter, Leonard? No, oh, nothing serious. Just an old college football injury. My knee. Yeah, how did it happen? Well, it's my senior year. Big game against State for all the marbles. Rough game. Score was tied 14-14. We had the ball on their 30-yard line. Fourth down. Two yards to go. That's when it happened. What? I got up to get a bag of peanuts and tripped on my blanket. <laughs> I had to be carried to the bleachers on a stretcher. <laughs> got quite an ovation from the folks in the stands. <laughs> That's when I decided to go into politics. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I'd like to see Dan Valenti. Uh... Do you have an appointment? Oh, he's expecting me. I'm his nephew, Mark. Oh, how nice. Oh, won't you have a seat? That'll be due any minute. Thanks. Oh, for heaven's sake. <laughs> My nephew, Mark, is coming to town for a week. See if you can line up some basketball tickets for us. Yeah, I haven't seen the kid in ten years, but old Uncle Dan was his favorite. He used to call me Dan the Man. Hey, Dan the Man. What are you, a wise guy? <laughs> Mark! 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 Oh, my God. Uh, Phyllis Lindstrom, this is my uh, nephew, Mark Valenti, my brother oh. Mario's kid. Uh, last time I saw him, he wasn't even shaving. Hey, he still isn't. <laughs> oh. Hey, it's so good to see you. We've got a million things to talk about. Great. So, uh, how you doing? Fine. How you doing? Good. Very good. 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 So, how's college? Fine. That's good. How I envy you Italians. In my family, we hardly ever spoke to each other. It's going to be great spending some time with you, just like the old days. Hey, you want to go to the Warriors game tonight? Oh, was it basketball season? Yeah, sure. You're always crazy about basketball. Oh, hey. Well, I kind of got over that. Oh. Oh, I got it. You like pool. There's a place we'll go and shoot some pool, have a couple of beers after. I'm not much into pool anymore, really. Oh. Well, listen, Mark, I'll buy you some breakfast. You still eat. <laughs> sure. Good, good. Let me make a couple of quick calls, and I'll take you to a place that serves the best sausage in town. Uh, I'm a vegetarian now, Uncle Dan. Ah. Oh, good. On the way over, we could stop in the park, and you can graze. <laughs> Supervisor Valenti's office. <laughs> oh, hello there. Oh, what a surprise. Are you calling from your dorm? A gas station. You're on your way home. Bess, what's wrong? Life is wrong. <laughs> Could you be a little more specific? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Bess. Oh, honey. I'll meet you at home right away. And we'll talk, all right? Bye-bye. Going somewhere, Phyllis? Oh, I have to go home, Harriet. Bess's boyfriend just broke up with her, and she sounded terribly distraught. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, she'll feel better after we've had a talk. Can you come for Oh, sure. Uh, what am I going to tell Dan? What do you mean, what are you going to tell him? Dan's a sensitive, understanding man. Tell him the truth, of course. Lindstrom, where are you going? My house is on fire. <laughs> Oh, what a marvelous idea you had. Playing fire.
cookie from work this morning. <laughs> well, Audrey, it's high time we had the place to ourselves. High time we had ourselves to ourselves for a change. <laughs> Just listen to the peace and quiet. I don't hear anything. <laughs> Your idea was just my imagination. <laughs> it's so good to have a few quiet moments with the woman I love. Makes me feel like making some noise. <laughs> hi, hi. I don't know. It's been so long, I can't tell. <laughs> what are you doing home, Phyllis? Well, Bess called me at the office and said she's on her way home from college. That boy, Paul, who she's been dating, broke up with her. Oh, that's too bad. Poor Bess. She must be very upset. Well, she was when I spoke to her. But that was a half hour ago. You know, kids, she's probably over it by this time. Oh, Mom! <laughs> oh, yes, dear. I think I'll go to court and convict somebody. <laughs> I'll fix you something to eat, dear. How about some coffee cake? No, thank you, Audrey. I just to think of it makes me sick. How did you know Phyllis made it? <laughs> oh, Beth. Let it all out. Tell Mommy where it hurts. Oh, I loved Paul. Oh. I trusted him completely. Then he just went and dumped me for another girl. Oh, Beth. <laughs> I know it must seem like the end of the world to you, but, but it isn't. Everyone goes through this at one time or another. Excuse me for interrupting, dear, but sometimes when I get a little depressed, I go out and buy something. Audrey, that's a great idea. Let's go shopping for some new clothes for you. My treat. It'll make you feel better. You'll forget about Paul. I'll never forget. I'm going to carry this painful memory with me till the day I die. That's the spirit, Bess. Look forward to the future. <laughs> this looks like a nice place. Oh, I like this store. May I help you two girls? I love this store. <laughs> Uh, my daughter is looking for something to highlight and accent her personality. <laughs> How about something in black crepe? <laughs> we just got these in today. Oh, would you look at these gorgeous dresses? Oh, which one do you like best? They're both so lovely she can't decide. <laughs> Here, let's see how this looks best. Go on. It'll be perfect for when you go back to school. Mom, I told you, I'm not going back to school. I just want to crawl in a hole. 